What's up world, Chuck here. In today's video, I'm gonna be modding a Sega Dreamcast. I'm gonna be doing the, the SD emulator software on it, but I'm not gonna make the adapter where it plugs in. I'm actually gonna wire it where it's inside a console where you would never know it's there. You obviously will because you need the CD. Um, along with the battery mod, which isn't really a mod, you're just replacing the battery, but it does involve modifying it so it'll work. And maybe the LED. So I have all my pins soldered on the motherboard. It looks worse than what it is in person. I guess just because of the lighting and it actually looks burned on camera. But it doesn't look that bad in person, I promise. But all of those are soldered. The tip I have is kind of hard to work with in that little bit of space too. But we got that soldered on there. As far as the LED, I'm gonna run it some kind of way so that when it's accessing the SD card, it'll flash into this lid and it'll flash a little, hopefully, um, a little bit of color into the stock orange so like I said I want to keep it looking stock you know um, that's the reason I'm not doing it externally or having the card I've seen some mods where the card is sticking out a little bit right here I don't want that so yeah next step to get this soldered up and figure out my circuitry figure out the space I'm gonna have to use in this case and go for it Alright, so I got everything temporarily really, really haggard together. I really just wanted to see if the schematic was right, if I hooked everything up right. As far as the grounds, you can see them. I got the ground for this side going here, blase blase. I got the ground for the LED running in there on that screw. And these two grounds for the actual plug back here, I have them ground to a screw up under here. Alright, so I got it plugged up into the wall. Um, everything looks in order, so let's just power it on and see if the light flashes or anything. No, it didn't. The main power light came on, but the blue light did not flash or anything. Hmm. Let me see if, it, if the lid closes, will it try to do anything? No, it's just spinning. Now it might actually be that it only will work if the the CD is in here and the the card is formatted with the right software and stuff. So I guess um, I have to wait to see if that actually works when I get the software. That's gonna do it for this video. In the next one, I'm actually gonna clean all of this up. I'm gonna make it look decent in here. I'm thinking about mounting it the card reader somewhere right here, maybe vertical, so that way I have a a little area right here, valley where I can hide these wires at get everything heat shrunk in and go from there and make sure nothing's touching that it's not supposed to and it's not going to short out. I'm probably going to have to shorten this battery um, wiring right here too as well. But thank you guys for watching. Like I said in the next video, I'm going to clean everything up and we're actually going to verify if I wired everything up right, if I used the right components or whatever. 
but I'll leave a link in the description of the tutorial and the schematics and the videos and everything that I followed. So if you want to do it yourself, I recommend following them, not following mine. I'm just demonstrating that it can be done and how to do it differently. But thank you guys for watching. If you like it, feel free to hit the like button. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.